Welcome back to Beltmatic. This series has gotten a good chunk of views, so I just want to say thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to focus on a couple things. I've been working on this upgrades, this belt level upgrades. Most of my factories are set in groups of 10, so of multiplier I have 10 of them, which means I could support 10 per second. My belt speed is only 8.7 per second, so assuming this increases by 0.1 every time, which it has been, uh, I could do another 13 upgrades to this before my factory started backing up. So I've just been working on this one right now, trying to get that up there. I have 8.7 per second right now. So, but in the meantime, we're going to work on filling up some of these belts coming into the hub. I have this space up here, so I am going to try a time lapse and just basically recreate this setup up here so we can have three belts of numbers coming down the, the top here into the hub. So let's get started. Time lapse took about 45 minutes. I've con condensed it down into a little over nine minutes. But so the first thing we did was just basically copy this setup up here, keep the end of it close to the bus to get it to the hub. And I just basically had to copy this setup. This is my addition setup to make tens. I. Uh, just have to find two numbers that add up to equal 10, which there's a 7 and a 3 right close to there. And I just rotated it so that the input is on the right-hand side. And I was trying to count how many belts we needed here. Um, but then I realized I could just check my setup down below here and see that I did six of them. So I will need six of these up here as well. And the 7 I can only get 9 belts out of, so I will have to find some other numbers that equal 10 as well. We're just going to drag these sevens out and hook them up to the addition setup. It, the bad part about this design is it requires a boatload of tens, but once you get it set up, it's basically good to go. You don't have to mess with it anymore. So then these sevens are going to come down here to this set. I'm going to grab this, copy this, make the threes and basically drag the threes up into the other slot. That'll give us seven plus three equals 10. I had a little mix up there, so I had to straighten that out. But basically just dragging the sevens up to here and then we'll have to kind of do some funky stuff here because they're inside this frame. But that's all the sevens and threes. I'm, I'm limited to nine per uh, extraction site right now. I haven't upgraded to the full 12. So I'm going to have to go find some other numbers that equal 10. 6 and 4 will do. For a minute there I was thinking about doing 9 and 1 because the 4 was so far away. But I couldn't really find a good 9 and 1 location so I just decided to stick with a 6 and 4. And just copy these belts over, get me close to the where they need to be. And basically do the same thing, clean up this and get the 6s and 4s input into the system so that we have tens coming out the other side. It's a lot of bells to drag, but and we'll bring the fours down here, try to keep it somewhat organized. And we'll have to bring them inside the system here because the sixes are blocking our pathway. But that's tens. Now we have to keep it really close to the bottom of the setup because I didn't leave much room to bring all these tens in because there are a lot of them. Let's see, there's 18 belts of tens, I believe. Six setups, three belts each would be 18 of them. So it stacks up quite nicely down here. Hopefully I have enough room to get all the tens in. We're just gonna drag them down here. Again, the L-shaped belts make it a nice feature that you can make them turn 90 degrees. You can turn that feature off in the settings if you want, but I find it very helpful. So that's all the tens. We're gonna hook them up into the system here. Uh, unfortunately, I set them up in the wrong spot. So in a second, we're going to have to erase this and redo it. Right there, I realized I was doing the wrong thing. So now we're 
putting them in the right spot. But that is all the tens in their right spot now. Next thing I get up is set up the exponents, which will need six, five, four, three, and two, so that we can do 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power, and so on. So I'm just finding the numbers we need right now, which is two, three, four, five, and six. And then we will drag the sixes across the top here, get them into the setup here. The next one will be five. And we'll just work our way through trying to keep it somewhat organized. So that's the fives down into there. Next we'll need the fours. Fours are coming really close to the sixes here. Or to the fives. We can just copy that down, drag them in. That's the fours. Next up is the threes. Drag them over here. And basically get them all hooked up into the system. This is all stuff we won't have to touch once it's set up. It's just good to go for the rest of the game. And finally, we just have the twos to set up. So we can bring those down right next to the threes. Just barely missed that five there. And that's the twos hooked up. So now we just got to locate the numbers of zero through nine. So there's the nine. We've got to find an eight now. But we're just going to draw this quick setup here so that we can just copy it over. Here's the eight. Here's a seven. Trying to keep them oriented so that they have room for all the belts. It's a four. We need a three. There's the two. And the one is down here. And then we'll have to do a subtraction setup for the zeros. But then we just got to basically copy these belts all the way over, get as close to the nine. And it's just a little setup from here. We can kind of copy and cut and paste belts as we need them. Here's the eights. We're going to have to go up and back down just to get the eights that we make sure we have room for the sevens to come in. And I only have nine belts coming in. I should have really left room for... 12 belts because that's the maximum you can have in the game but I'm way too far along to make that adjustment bring the sevens in down here worked out nicely copy these sixes over there we're going to just skim the fours here we'll just copy this down That way we don't have to drag belts. And we can copy this up to here. This will get us our sixes. Hook them up on the other side, which they already done. So there's the fives now. So basically we can just copy this setup from here and kind of reuse what we got. That way it's a little less belt dragging. That is the fives. Fours are up here. We can just copy this so we don't have to... That is the fours. And we can just copy this corner. And then we need the threes. Copy this crossover. They don't quite line up, so we'll have to copy the setup up here. Make some small adjustments to it. It didn't line up as nice as the rest of them, so... But, relatively simple fix. Grab the twos. Line those up. Trying to line up the ones, but we're going to have to bring them up so we can see where they're at. That's ones, and then... 
create a crossover for the zeros. Unfortunately, I put it going in the wrong way. But a simple copy-paste fixes that. And we just got to grab this subtractor set up here, which will make our zeros. I'm just going to bring six belts in for now. I can probably expand this later if I need to, if I find I need nine full belts of zeros. But it's just going to do four minus four. And I want to do two minus two down here. That'll get us six belts of zero. And just copy those up into the system. Alright, so that's all fabricated. Let's go ahead and take this over to the bus. Alright, now let's go ahead and check what we need. 6,324, so this would be a 4. Let's go ahead and delete this. What was it? 6324. So the next number is a 2. So this column needs to be a 2. We also need, we also need to pump in zeros over here. I forgot about that into... Uh, let's see right here. All right, there's some zeros. Let's just take these down to the insert them into here. We'll just have to move these once we want to do a number larger than 9,999. But for now, this will get it going. Once we get up to the million mark, we won't have to put zeros in. Actually, we'll have to put zeros in up here. But so let's see. We need. What are we working on again? 6,324. So this needs to be twos. Which it is already. Let's just break this temporarily to get rid of these nines. Actually, we can clear it. If you hit uh, C, it just clears it. Now I'll get rid of those nines. Six, three, two, four. So threes are already set up nice from my previous build. And sixes. Well, let's see, sixes need to come in to this one here. Just like this, we should have 6,324. It's going to take a minute for the system to clear out. 6,324. Why is this not moving? That's a really large number. That's interesting. So it's ran for a minute. You can't really see these numbers, but if we go to the one, two, three button at the top right here, we can see we're delivering 6,324 at roughly 26 per second. It's still clearing out a couple of miscellaneous numbers over here, 0.1 per second of these two. These will eventually disappear once these numbers filter through. But it's not even using these down here because we only can use eight of them or 8.7 of them right now, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it doesn't even look like this one's operating, it just looks like these are. But anyway, so that is 6,324, that'll get us the next upgrade. You can see it's kind of ticking up ever so slowly, but it is, it is moving. 
So we can actually go through and change these two numbers now. We don't need 5,209 anymore because we're way past the 23,000 required. So we could always go ahead and change that one to the... We're already doing this one and this one, so I guess we would change this one to the next hub number, which would be 17,263. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.